So aromatherapy gives us a beautiful, amazing, natural solution to help relieve allergenic symptoms because they come from where? The plant kingdom, which has been with us forever. And they help us to work through these underlying causes. This last weekend, I went on a, on a trip, um, a little solo retreat. And where did I go? I went into nature. And in nature, I could feel my whole body get reset. And it was so helped by the beautiful smell of orange blossoms, which we know in aromatherapy as neroli. It was intoxicating. It just went through the air. And I didn't even, I couldn't even put my finger on it right away. But my whole state just changed. My mood became so peaceful, so centered, and so so into my meditation with with um, nature and with myself. So there's a whole reset that happened. This is what can happen when we're really in tune with nature. But when we're not, and we get these reactions, we get uh, what's called spring rhinitis, which is that itching of those mucous membranes. So a couple of really good um, oils that are helpful. Uh, ter this is tarragon. Now tarragon we know as a... Um, a plant for cooking so we can cook with it certainly it'll be really helpful when we smell it oh whoo whoo tarragon it has a, a pungent smell but also a a calming there's some esters in there so it's a champion for allergies you can um, mix this with a couple of drops of honey and um, no, mix a couple of drops with about a teaspoon of honey. Mix it up really well. And take this about three times a day. It's a strong anti-inflammatory properties in this. And um, also you can, if you get really itchy eyes, you can put a drop of the tarragon in, uh, in carrier oil. And then just really carefully, don't put it in your eyes, but just under your eyes. That'll help to soothe the redness of an itchy eyes and nose. And then um, there's the beautiful blue tansy which is Tennessee and album, which is not tansy, it's blue tansy. You can see by the blue in the, in the, in the nose here. Now, this is actually one of my favorite oils. Um, immediately when you smell it, you can feel this incredible calming energy that, uh, that's in here. It's, it's, it's got the Artemisia uh, family in here, and it's uh, extremely calming. But it's also a very good, strong anti-inflammatory. And then we have um, Roman chamomile, which I didn't bring. Now, Roman chamomile can help in um, suppress allergenic airway inflammation uh, and help to decrease mucus secretion. In some cases, you might be allergic to it. So I always suggest that whatever you're going to use, be sure you smell it first, get a feel for it, see if you have any reactions. You will have it. You will have a reaction, but you won't necessarily have a negative reaction. So the marvel of aromatherapy is that each oil has its own variety of biochemical compounds and will, will not only target one particular area, but many levels of healing, both physiologically, mentally, and emotionally. Um, they play a big role. We've talked about this before. So both tarragon and, of course, our dear lavender, Roman chamomile and the blue tansy are very beneficial to release anxiety, stress, and improve our sleep, especially lavender. So the, the natural rhythms is what we want to get in touch with. They're wonderful. And all together, they reflect what's happening inside ourselves. So not only outside, we've gone through winter, which is a natural invitation to go inward, take more time for rest, and rejoice in cocooning. And now we have spring. Spring, as the sap moves upward in the trees, so does the energy in our body. The bees come out and they start to clean the hive. We clean our hive. We take care of all the dust and get it out of there. And the flowers start to bloom. So we also have, like here in, in Florida, we have the orange, the lemon. Ah. Wow, it just, it, it just, you can feel it actually spring your energy up. It's, it's tantalizing. It's, the buds are starting. You're, you're like, 
life is happening again. And that's the way people are feeling right now, which is so beautiful. In the summer, that strong sunlight comes out. The nature unfolds its complexity. And in fall, then it begins to prepare for rest and relaxation. And we begin to process everything we've learned through the summer. So in aromatherapy, essential oils with their harmonizing effect can assist us to find a balance inherent in life. And as we as we move with these natural rhythms, we can come into a great peaceful place. This, by the way, is grapefruit. Is another one. I'm going to talk about that in a second. I love grapefruit. In fact, I had I made some grapefruit juice for myself this morning. It was really really beautiful. So. Let's talk a little bit about detox, and then we'll kind of wrap this up. I'm going to give you a recipe here. For those who are interested in properly preparing the body and building the immune system, you can we can carefully use the oils, and I say carefully because we must remember that these oils are highly concentrated. So when you use them, use them very cautiously. Um, we're going to talk about ingesting, and it's going to be a very, very small amount. Sometimes I'll just use a toothpick amount in in a whole bowl of uh, product that I'm making. So uh, you want to be sure that you test them, that there's no contraindications uh, before you actually use them. If you get a reaction, stop using them. The body will go ahead and gently detox. That's what the body is made for. Isn't that cool? Um, <laughs> so certain oils are particularly strong detoxers. And, um, and they were, are also activators. They'll strengthen the kidney and the liver functions. Some, a couple of those are lovage and celery. You won't find those in your normal um, kits, but we do have those available. Lovage is a, from the parsley family, and it's great for detoxing the kidney and the liver. Celery, especially the kidney. Another one that's really good for the kidney is juniper berry, and I love the smell of juniper berry. Um, it also is helpful for the lymphatic system. Rosemary verbone, which I have here, and I love this one. Rosemary is very activating, and this particular um, species, rosemary verbone, are really good to help stimulate the liver. There's another oil called ledum or Greenland moss, which is also very, very helpful for stimulating the liver. So you can put like lemon and grapefruit together. They're also very good for um, enlivening the circulatory and the and the, the lymphatic system. I use this in my lymphatic uh, detox massage therapy that I do. So I can suggest that you can create a synergy blend, which I'll give to you in a moment. You take one to two drops of that blend and mix them in one teaspoon of honey. So you could start with one, I would start with one drop, because remember they're super concentrated. You could also put in any carrier oil that you would like, and then do this twice a day, preferably in the morning and in the evening. Preferably on an empty stomach would be best. So here's a recipe for you. Carrot seed, 20 drops. Lovage, 20 drops. Peppermint, 20 drops. Then rosemary verbone, you want to use 40. And lemon, you want to use 40. Now that's to make a large amount. So however you want to take that percentage and work with that ratio in a blend for a smaller size, go ahead. That recipe is from um, a fellow in France, Millard, Aud Millard. Very beautiful. Then you can also use the hydrosols, or also known as hydrolots. And those are really beautiful. You can mix Carrot hydrosol with ledum hydrosol, rosemary, verbone, juniper, and helichrysum. So carrot regenerates the liver. Ledum is a powerful detoxifier and cleanser for the liver. Rosemary protects and regenerates the liver. Juniper strengthens the renal function and helps with cellulite. And then helichrysum is a great cleanser, cleanser and for the pancreas and gallbladder, and it activates them as well. So you can drink them throughout the day, use them as a flavored water, or mix them with hot water. So I know that um, we're going through a lot of stuff pretty fast, so we'll post this in on my site so that you can have these for your, at a later time. 
Uh, and also don't forget to make yourself a beautiful bath. Baths are very, especially when you use Epsom salts, you can make your synergy with a mix of the oils we've talked about, put them with the carrier oil, place them in with Epsom salts and, and use use about one to two cups of Epsom salts in the nice, or nice warm bath. Add some rose petals in there and make yourself a really beautiful, beautiful time. So uh, that's what we have for our time with you today, having this aroma chat. I've really enjoyed being with you and sharing this. Please be sure if you have any questions, just email me at essentialstar with two rs.com. PM me on this and we will see you on the other side. Remember to spring into spring and enjoy, enjoy the oils as they help to support carrying you forward. This is great. We have an important time that we're doing right now. So very